you grew up in the 1970s, then you probably remember the name, Barbie Benton. She was a woman of many talents and flourished as a model, actress, TV icon, and even a talented singer. Come with us as we take a deep look into the life of Playboy Bunny and Hollywood star, Barbie Benton. Born as Barbara Lynn Klein on January 28, 1950, in New York City, her family made the move out west to California when she was just two years old. Her parents were both well-respected professionals, her father a gynecologist and her mother an investment counselor. Barbie Benton was set to follow a similar career path to her parents. After high school, she enrolled in a veterinary course at UCLA, but it didn't last long. In a 1980 interview with People magazine she recalls, I had to give up, being a vet, when I realized I couldn't stand the sight of blood. At the young age of 16 whilst still in high school, Barbie Benton began to model. She even took a class on T-Room modeling during her time at Rio Americano High School. By age 18, after realizing a career as a veterinarian wasn't for her, she began to pursue a career in the modeling world whilst continuing her studies at UCLA. Benton was born Barbara Lynn Klein in New York City to a Jewish family. Her father was a gynecologist and her mother worked as an investment counselor. She grew up in Sacramento and attended Rio Americano High School. She pursued many interests, including scuba diving and playing piano. She also did what was known as T-Room modeling while in school. Benton enrolled in veterinary school at UCLA, but decided against that career option after realizing she had an aversion to the sight of blood. At the age of 16, she began to model. Following high school, while attending UCLA, Benton took a job with Playboy to appear on their entertainment show Playboy After Dark at age 18. She initially started as an extra on the show, but after host Hugh Hefner fell in love with Benton, her role was quickly elevated to co-host. After recording two episodes, Hefner asked the young co-ed for a date. Upon being asked, she reportedly demurred to the then 42-year-old Hefner, I don't know, I've never dated anyone over 24 before. To which Hefner replied, that's all right, neither have I. The two began a relationship that lasted several years, and placed Benton in the center of the Playboy enterprise. Hefner persuaded her to change her name from Barbara Klein to the more marketable Barbie Benton. She is credited with persuading Hefner to buy the Playboy Mansion in Homeby Hills in 1974. Benton, initially credited as Barbie Klein, appeared on the cover of Playboy four times, July 1969, March 1970, May 1972 and December 1985 and in additional nude photo layouts in the December 1973 and January 1975 issues. Though she was featured in a number of photo essays, she was never a playmate of the month. She landed a spot on television's Hee Haw doing short comedy sketches, and often appeared as a dancer on some of the last series of the Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In shows, and subsequently enjoyed a career as a country singer. She also began acting, and appeared in the West German comedy film The Naughty Cheerleader, 1970, before appearing as a featured repeat performer on a number of popular television series, including The Bobby Vinton Show in 1976, The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. Benton lived with Hefner from 1969 until 1976 and is known for discovering the Playboy Mansion West, where Hefner resided until his death in 2017, five years later when the television series The Girls Next Door visited her in Aspen, 
Colorado, she expressed gratitude that the two had remained friends. Benton left Hee Haw after four seasons to concentrate on a more Hollywood-oriented career. She also starred in the short-lived 1977 ABC TV comedy series Sugar Time, about an aspiring female rock group and in films including The Slasher Hospital Massacre, 1982. Benton achieved some success as a recording artist. Her record, Brass Buckles, 1975, was a top five hit on Billboard's country singles chart. Benton has recorded eight albums, the last of which she personally produced in 1979. She also composed the songs, sang them, and played piano. One of her better-known songs was Ain't That Just The Way, 1976. It was a number one hit in Sweden for five weeks, was also a major hit for Lutricia McNeil in 1996, and was recorded by the Dutch singer Patricia Pay under the title Poor Jeremy in 1977. After ending her nine-year relationship with Hugh Hefner in 1976, Barbie Benton was looking for the next shoulder to lean upon, enter George Grado. In 1977, a former employee of the real estate developer, Liz Prince, asked Grado when he was thinking of getting married. Having watched Sugar Time, he replied saying, when I find someone who looks like Barbie Benton. As it happened, Liz Prince knew Barbie's mother and after passing on the message, they arranged a meeting for the two. At first, Barbie Benton viewed Gardow strictly as a financial advisor and businessman and was already seeing America film actor Andrew Prine at the time. When her fling with Prine ended, Benton and Gardow began dating and the rest, as they say, is history. In 1979, Barbie Benton and George Gardow were married. Benton traded the debauchery of the Playboy Mansion to that of a lavish 28-room mansion and six-acre estate in Pasadena. On August 23, 1986, Barbie Benton gave birth to her first child Alexander. Two years later on July 13, 1988, she gave birth to her second child, Ariana. Today, Barbie Benton is devoting most of her time to raising her children and spending it with her husband. As well as working as an interior designer since 2002. The Gardo Benton family spends their time between Los Angeles, California, and Aspen, Colorado.